One thing every school website needs is a, the ability to add announcements or news or items that you want your students to be able to view. So today I'm going to show you how to create a, an announcements page which will allow you to add news that will appear and disappear as you want it so that your students can always see new and updated information. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to new page. Okay, let's go ahead and call this page news. And I'm going to come down here where it says select a template and I'm going to click choose the announcements template. I don't really care where to put it necessarily. I just usually leave it at the top level and that's fine. Then I'm going to hit the create button. Okay. So now you've got a news page, and it's real simple to add a new post. You just click your new post button. We're going to come in here, and we're going to title this Test This Friday. Maybe we we'll want to say that there will be a 20-question test. Make sure you are ready. You can also add files. But first, before I do add enough file, I'm going to go ahead and hit save. If I click the add file first, it's going to delete everything I've already done. So we want to hit save. Okay. And go back and edit. And we're going to hit this add file button, which you can add any attachment to it that you want. So we've already created our first news article that there's going to be a test. The problem with what we've done so far is that when we go back to the home page, you can see that you know my kids aren't going to find that. There's no link to it. So we need to go ahead and um, add a section for news to be right in here so that they see that when they first come onto the page. So we're going to click this edit button page, or edit button, and I'm going to click insert recent posts. Right in here is a drop down box. I'm going to go ahead and click uh, News. Do I want a short snippet, medium snippet, full post? It's up to you how you want to do it. In this case, I'm going to say full post. I want five to show up. And right in here, I'm going to give it the title News. And I'm going to hit Save. Okay. And then I'm going to come up here and hit this Save button. And now if all went well, you should be able to see that our news item is showing up. The problem that we have now is if you are on your home page, how do you get in to delete this post and add new posts? Well, to delete the post, you just come over here and click the title of that post, which will take you to the page. And you come up to more, and you're going to say delete this page. But going back here, an easy way to be able to add a news post is we want to add a news link off to the side. So I can go to my news page at will whenever I want to. So I'm going to click this more button and I'm going to come down to edit site layout. And now you can see that I have an edit option here. I'm going to go ahead and click inside there. I'm going to say I want to add a page. And I'm going to scroll down and highlight my, click on my news page. And then say OK. And now you can see news is on there. I can also move my news up to the top if I want. And I'm going to say click OK. You'll see that my news link is there. I'm going to go ahead and close this. So I'm back to the web page. So now if I want to add a new post, I first come in here click news which will take me to this and now I have my news new post button which I can now add to and say something like this your test results are in and then I'm going to hit save back to my home page. Now you can see that I have my two announcements in and as we 
stated at the beginning, we're going to have five of these that will continue to show up. And that's all it takes to add, delete, and edit posts.